So hello friends, today I'm going to show you how to service this lens, it is a Nikkor 35mm f2, non-AI version, but then the construction of this lens is exactly the same as the AI version, so this video is also good for that lens. So the problem of the lens is that it has some haze, here I'm showing you a close-up of the haze, and then I also made a picture of the haze, so you can see what the problem is, and then I'm going to show you how to reach the lens uh, which has the haze and then we're going to get it clean so thing you might notice is that I already removed this rubber ring and then um, I didn't dare putting it back to show it to you how to remove it because it's a bit uh, brittle so I think that's because of the edge so I'm, I'm going to manipulate it the least possible so I'm going to put it aside but then I'm going to show you here with another lens how to proceed to remove that. So I have this small hook and then what I do is just to pass the hook below here and then I raise, I put a toothpick which I pass below here and then I start pushing with my finger here as you can see. So to dislodge the rubber from the uh, gap is in and then when I have done this all around I just simply push the thing out so this is for removing the rubber so once you have removed, removed the rubber you will find yourself with this and then this lens was already opened before not by me but then here you will find yourself with some tape that you need to remove. Here the tape was broken. And then once, once you have removed the tape, you simply need to descrew this element here, which is a bit tight. Ah, okay. And then you get this element out. So with that element out, you will find here one small flathead screw. So we're going to move this to gain access to the screw. Then we take the flat screwdriver, 1.2 millimeters. That's quite standard for the Nikkor lenses. And then we're going to get this thin just loose. We're not going to remove the screw. It is not necessary. And then with that, we can take this part and the screw. So here you need to be careful because when you hit, this part is loose. And then you have the optical block that comes out. And then this part here has some play and then it's pinch between this part here and then this ring here that uh, we don't, we're not going to remove. Here the body of the lens is quite okay, so we're not going to do much with it. What we need to do now is to come here and then I think, well, I already saw it before. The haze is in the part where the diaphragm is and then to access it, you need simply to screw this element here. And then here you go. We have reached the element where the haze is. Just let's try to get a close up. Okay, I see there is some separation. So we might take a look at that maybe later. But then right now what we're going to do is to take care of the haze, which is here. So I'm going to grab the clean stuff and then we meet in a few seconds. So here I am, I'm ready for the cleaning, you can see the haze here, we're going to remove it, this is going to be really 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 easy and fast. So I have my optical cleaning fluid and then I have some optical cleaning paper which I already cut in small pieces here. So what we're going to do, it's quite simple, we're going to apply the 
optical current fluid here. And then make tweezers. I take the paper and get this lens pen and then I'll move the paper around. And then that's it. So we got the lens clean. Okay, I'm seeing some reflections, but then that's on the bottom. Got the lens pretty much clean. So what we're going to do now is to reassemble it. This is going to be quick as well. So you just let me pick the stuff. we blow just before assembling just to make sure we don't have any dust into the lens and then here we get the body back just let's remove these things here so we have everything then here very important we come F22, we do the same thing here. Okay, this thing is bothering me a lot. So, here we come, we close here. Okay, and then here we are in position. Okay, so here we are in position. So, we're close. So, this pin here, which moves the diaphragm, is in this position. This is going to match with the aperture ring here, with the motion of this one, and then uh, this small lever here is going to match with the aperture lever here that goes into the camera. So we have this, and then here on the body of the lens, we can see that we have one fork with a big opening and then one fork with small opening and then this is the big one is obviously to match this part and the small one is obviously to match this part here so we need to be very careful here and then we try to get them quite in position and then here i just need to work a bit the lever with my hand okay I was very lucky I got it on first shot so this part is nice then here as you might notice there is this small green spot that I made previously and then this is to mark oh damn it I pull and then I got it loose okay I am in the game I have to pay attention with that here you get here you have this small mark here and then this is the indentation what where this screw should go in so we tighten here and then here is already becoming tight so I have to tighten until I reach the green point and then here I can take tighten back screw so this part is blocked and then 
we'll just let me pull this thing and thing a bit back put this thing here we get this thing tight then the less is clean as we saw there is some separation so far uh, I'm going to leave with it because this uh, reparation is rather cumbersome but then the haze is already gone so I guess my image quality is already going to be good and then just to finish let me show you how to put this thing here I have to be very 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 gentle because I don't want to break it and then here here we are lens is back to really good condition so this is all I wanted to show you today thanks for watching and see you next time huh?